It has begun. She's officially on the stand. Turned out pretty good. So check this out. You can see all these lines in here, these marks from where I ran the dial bore gauge in, in here, checking the, uh, the cylinder diameters to make sure everything was correct. So we know that this has been opened up well. Now it's just a matter of getting one back together and seeing how it does in a, from a cooling perspective. These guys are a problem. So what I have here is my handy dandy Harbor Freight. Um, solvent tank with totally awesome cleaner. Problem we found today was these pistons are heavier than the new pistons. So what we're gonna end up having to do is we're taking our taking our cranks and pistons and rings and bearings and flywheel bolts, the flywheel, the harmonic balancer, the crank pulley bolt, the clutch pressure plate and clutch disc when we're having the whole unit balanced. The pistons are 20 over, they're a little larger and they're lighter. So the pistons are made by NPR, Nippon Piston Ring Company. Been on the phone and on email with one of the engineers Seems like almost every day, uh, and they're not annoyed. They really, they really like the the fact that uh, somebody's actually interested in the engineering side of what we're doing, of what they're doing. So, um, we what I found was the pistons. There's uh, even a 20 over piston is lighter. So what happens is we have a, a balance issue. They're actually lighter by 14 grams, which is about a half of an ounce. So you know, even the problem with uh, you know, with the engine here, with the cooling issue, I'm also finding that a lot of these engines are actually throwing rods or spinning bearings at a very young age. And a lot of that leans towards poor oil management. I've opened some of these valve covers and I will show you on one of the, uh, one of the complete engines I still have together. I pulled the valve covers and all, it looks like a volcano went off under there. I've never seen anything quite like it. So oil maintenance is a, is a challenge for people on this car. I'm not sure why that is. But I also have a feeling that the initial, if the if Nissan took the same level of quality or care they did on the block here to deal with the rotating assembly, I imagine that it's not well balanced. Ironically, when I started this project, my idea was to simply take these things apart and fix the cooling channel and then rehone new bearings and rings and put it back together. But we found miking it out with the bore gauge that the cylinders are not even close to round and they're way 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 out of taper so they're just they, they were uh probably mass built so quickly with so much heat that they are that far out of round i can't even imagine they were straight i can't imagine that enough heat actually caused that issue to become completely out around. It's possible. We haven't been able to prove any of this. We don't know what the actual source is. If if I could get my, what, you know, if anybody out there knows where I can get my hands on a stock brand new OEM short block from Nissan, I will buy it and we will test it. All right, gang, we're strapped on here. Every time I say the word strap on, it cracks me up. This is what it's been like here in Colorado for like 11 days straight here. I don't remember seeing this much rain. Holy moly. Ooh, there's more lightning. I was going to show you real quick the power of the uh, totally awesome cleaner that I use for cleaning these pistons today. I did download the MSDS charts in here and actually look at what's in here. I'm trying to figure out why this was actually so non-harmful on aluminum. So can't remember what the quant what the actual ingredient was but this stuff doesn't kill your hands purple power on the other hand is pretty gnarly and it will certainly do a number on your aluminum parts i've had this piston in here for about uh, i guess i've been messing around for five minutes so this is the stuff you just get a little bit of a nylon brush and all that crap comes right out of there and this looks like a brand new piston. It's crazy what this stuff does. 
I mean, you can already see how quickly shiny that's going to get, but pretty cool. Uh, I'm excited to show you something tonight. I didn't think I would get an opportunity to show you. Uh, the plan changed for the disassembly process of these various motors. We're still having trouble getting one of the Xterra motors uh, built correctly. Turns out we had another set of heads that were not, somebody had ground on the seats and made them so they were not going to be uh, uh, easily machinable without replacing all the seats. So I decided, well, I've got lots of heads and head parts, so let's see if I can find another set of heads that are in a little better shape. And uh, so we decided, after all that, that I was just going to disassemble the motor for the silver Xterra uh, with the possibility that because there was such poor oil maintenance on this truck that we might actually find more damage than we think exists even like on the uh, the cams and stuff inside the head so and the short story is is that what I need actually is about six intake valves to replace the ones that are in the JDM motor because unfortunately some of the machine work uh, didn't work properly. Or actually, I didn't even know it was happening. I found that somebody who had their hands on it didn't probably do it correctly and certainly not a complete job. So <clears throat> long story short, I hadn't expected that anybody did any work on the heads on those, so this was a surprise. I decided to dig into the silver Xterra motor be, uh, that I had been holding off from doing because I wanted to use that as a model of how to reassemble all this stuff because I've never actually assembled one of these yet. But I've known this is a problem to begin with. This motor had rod knock. The truck only has 90 some thousand miles on it, so it was really a surprise. I got lucky, found it, bought it after it had, the motor had gone bad, and I popped it with the valve covers, and that's what I'm gonna show you. I've never seen anything like this. This is extraordinary. Check this out. Looks like a volcano may have gone off inside here. This is literally almost what this looks like. This is incredible. I can't even get to the the heads of the bolts to get my internal hex in there to remove the head bolts. This is going to take some serious surgery. But look at this, like it's like a friggin' volcano literally went off in here. I've never seen anything like this. Look at this, just I mean, really? <laughs> Here's the inside of the valve cover itself. Like, this is all just nasty. I don't even know what to say.